of course, you're in your 45th season. Right. But this is yeah. your 23rd year. Is that correct? Right. Because we do two seasons a year. It was a very big show with my family. We watched it with the kids when they were growing up. And then my son got older and he went off to college and he kind of stopped watching the show for a while. And then he came back to it which was amazing. I love that. College is the area where we will tend to lose people because they go and they have their own life and then they often come back. But what really has helped Survivor become a family show is about 12 or so years ago, we really made a concerted effort, especially me. The thing I'm constantly driving with our teams is imagine a seven-year-old watching this show and dreaming of doing it. And it's not because we're trying to attract an audience. That's part of it. But Really, in my soul, I know it's in all of us. There's something that Survivor touches, and you see it when you watch just one episode. This idea of being taken out of your ordinary world and dropped in the middle of a real jungle with a bunch of strangers, and two things are happening. You have to rely on each other to survive, and you're simultaneously conspiring against each other to get rid of people. It's a simple little format, but if you execute it well, it works. I want to talk to you about celebrity fans of the show because you talk about how it's a winner take all show, but in a lot of ways it really isn't anymore because people like Sia just seem to like who they right. like and throw money at somebody that people <laughs> yeah. love. So how did that all come about? Sia has given to date next season. If she continues with her Sia prize, she will break a million dollars in personal money that she has given to players over the years. And how it started was, we were friends and she loved Survivor and that's how we originally met. And so she was coming to some of the live shows and she came to a live finale back when we had it. And there was a guy, Ty, and he was just a very lovely human and he was a big animal activist. And we're doing the live show. We're in the middle of a live show. And I hear this voice say, Jeff, I see Sia in her wig and she's <laughs> walking up to the stage and she says, I, I just love you and I want to give you some money. And that's where it started. Her thought is this, I make a lot of money, I've been really lucky, and I want to share it with the people who entertain me and bring me joy. And one of those shows is Survivor. Like our last season, I wake up at like 7.45 the day after the finale aired, and Sia's calling me for like the ninth time. And I finally wake up and pick it up, and she goes, I'm ready to give away money. Can we get them on the phone? That's how fast it happens. And then your producer brain clicks in, which is, I don't want her to change her mind. She's going to give money to these people. So you just start calling and then she tells them and they cry and they can't believe their biggest fan. And, you know, last year we had a guy that, that Carson that got some money from her and he told her, he goes, I am your number one fan. I listen to every single thing you've ever done. So there's this really cool connection, but that's all. See ya. 